All right, there it is. All right, so the details on here, this is a nine gallon, 34 liter wet vac. So that's really what I need. That'll help me clean out my pool pump. A lot of dirt and sand and stuff gets down at the bottom of the pool pump and you just can't purge that out of there. You gotta use the shop vac to clean it out. Uh, three year limited warranty. We build with pride. Of course, it's a craftsman. So obviously with a name like that, they take pride in what they do. All right, so here's the, the goods on it. They got a 10 foot cord, one and seven eighths, clearance for tools so looks like they got all these different tools here it says there's a carrying handle definitely want to use that where's the carrying handle something goes up here this isn't it this isn't it maybe it's inside because I don't see the carrying handle oh here we go here's all the goodies right in here there's all the good stuff. Okay, so this has a, looks like a paper filter and a bag, which neither one we're gonna use for the wet vac. So let's see what the deal is here. In my official shop vac brand, it had a foam filter that we used here for the uh, wet vac. So let's open this up and see what, uh, what the deal is. All right, here's the directions, the handle and the wheels. So let's go ahead and start with that. So it must be these. Yep, that's it. So those go in, and then these must pop into these holes here. Pop, there we go, did you hear that? Pop. Pop, there we go. One more. It's not easy, but it's not that hard. So just pop those in. So I'm not quite sure what the deal is with this. It's kind of a, there we go. Kind of a little bit of a booger to get in there. So, and that one fell right in. All I did was just drop it in. So go figure. So I was thinking I'm going to give this a negative review because I couldn't get that screw in and then it just drops right in like it's nothing on the second one. So go figure. But yeah, I really don't like this part. I would much rather have it just pop in like those wheels. I don't like having to screw this in. This is pretty precarious. So this is one heck of a handle. This is a lot of work to get this in, but it's gonna be nice to have a handle to pick it up. My shop vac didn't have that. I didn't have a nice handle like this. So that's pretty nice. All right, so that's all done. Now my next question is about this. What is the uh, wet vac? procedure. I know we're not using this bag, but I don't know if this, we use this paper filter or not. So I'm going to read the directions for a minute and then we'll figure this out. All right, so it says when we're using the uh, wet vac, 
not to use the filter. Here's the directions to take the filter off. You pull it off that nib there. Before we get ahead of ourselves here, it says right here, when picking up large amounts of liquid, which we plan to do when cleaning out the pool filter, we recommend that the filter be removed. If the filter is not removed, it will become saturated and misting may appear in the exhaust. So this is just gonna get in the way when we go to pick up a lot of water. But you can leave it on for now, in case we need to pick up anything else. It's a little bit tricky here, you gotta line that up. This is almost as bad as the handle. There you go, once you line it up, then you push that in. So, like that. In comparison to the shop vac, this kind of sucks. Ha ha ha. <laughs> but the shop vac doesn't work, so it doesn't suck at all. I'd rather have a shop vac that sucks. So instead, we're going to use a Craftsman, and we'll see if this lasts longer, because my shop vac did not stand the test of time. So we're going to go with the Craftsman wet-dry vac and see if it'll do the job. So we'll turn it on and see what it does, just as a quick test, and then we'll go out to the pool and clean out the pool pump. All right, so it can pick up a piece of paper. Now let's see what else it can do. Try a piece of wood. That was pretty cool. All right, now let's test it out with something else. There's a two pound weight. Five pounds. Nope, it looks like it'll do two pounds. It'll do a piece of wood, but it won't do a five pound weight. And the wheel fell off. Okay, so I've gone through the whole thing and put it together, and I'm missing a few parts. I didn't get uh, H right here. It says H is the muffler diffuser. Not included. So that's why I didn't get that. And then I did not get K right here. I didn't get K, and then it says K Hose clip assembly, not included. So K and H appear in the direction say not included with the particular unit I got. In my next video, we'll go out to the pool pump and we'll test this out by cleaning out the pool filter. All right, thanks for watching.